quant for competitive exams in this series we shall be solving yet another question a sum of money compounded annually amounts to rupees 1600 in 2 years and in 3 years 1800 find the rate of interest so what is given in the question is the amount for 2 years and for 3 years and it is clearly mentioned that there is not simple rate of interest it is the compound rate of interest in a brief view we should know what is the difference between simple and compound interest in the first year simple interest and compound interest are the same simple interest is that interest which is charged only on the principal amount so every year the interest which will be charged on the principal amount will be called the simple interest compound interest is the interest which is charged not only on the principal as well as the interest previously charged so Uh, the interest will be calculated on the sum total of the principal plus the previously charged interests let the principal in both the cases be 1000 and the interest percent is 10% for a simple interest the first year it will be 10% of 1000 which is 100 again in the second year it will be 10% of 1000 100 and so on every year it will be 100 only but in the compound interest the first year it will be the same 10% of 1000 very clear further second year it will be 10% of 1000 plus 10% of 100 which is the previously charged interest so you have to calculate 10% of 1000 plus 100 and in the third year it will be 10% of 1000 plus 10% of 100 plus 10% of 110 so this and this will be totaled up in the third year the underlined amount as you can see this one is the difference between the simple interest and the compound interest now coming back to the question this is the formula for amount in the third year when the uh, interest is charged compounded annually so a3 is equal to p1 plus r upon 100 power 3 and amount for the second year formula is p1 plus r upon 100 power 2 so we will be dividing the second by 1 so amount in the third year given in the question is 1800 upon 1600 and here we fit in the formulas as you can clearly see we will be simplifying it this p gets cancelled with this p and so this is the power 3 and this is the power 2 you are left with 9 upon 8 is equal to 1 plus r upon 100 on solving you will get the rate of interest it is 12.5% this is the answer to the question